Today's pro bike check is French enduro racer Francois Bailey Maitre's Ibis Mojo HD. So starting off up at the handlebars, these are by a French brand, they're SB3, and they're quite wide. These are actually unmarked carbon bars, prototypes at the moment, and they come in at 810 mil wide, but Francois has cut them down to about 780. Uh, SB3 grips as well, quite chunky these, quite a large diameter on these, uh, a 50 mil stem. The brakes and the gears are both Shimano, so we've got the Saint brake, so the downhill brake, really aggressive, big four-pot caliper, so some big stoppers on this bike. And we've got the DI2 gears, so it's a one-by system, Shimano XTR DI2 shifter up here. And you've got this display that lets you know what gear you're in, lets you set the, the actual the settings for the gears, how fast the gears move, so things like that. Uh, and also shows the battery, how much you've got left. We've also got this Polar computer up on the bars. Uh, it's got Francois's name, that's pretty trick. So down to the front of the bike, we've got this Fox 36 fork in 160 mil travel. You can see an awful lot of spaces underneath this stem just to get the bars up nice and high. So it's a pretty sort of downhilly setup that we do see on many of these modern enduro race bikes. Got big tires, got a Schwalbe um, Magic Mary up front. So a big chunky tire and a hands damp on the rear. So this bike has boost fork and a boost rear end. It's that new standard of wider hub widths, which is 110 on the front and 148 on the rear. You can see with these wheels as well, these are Ibis carbon rims. They're actually really wide, asymmetrical as well. So the spokes sit off slightly to one side and that gives this tire a really big sort of profile. Industry nine hubs and it's got a Shimano 203 disc on the front and a 180 on the rear. So again, pretty big brakes all round. So the Mojo HD is a 160 mil travel bike. We've got this Fox Float X2 shock on the rear, so the big air canister, the downhill shock. It's got high and low speed compression and rebound, but also you've got this uh, lockout down here. So no remote lockout. To actually lock it out for pedaling, you need to lean down and flip this blue switch around. Uh, Shimano full drivetrain as well. We've got the XTR cranks, 175 mil, Shimano XTR SPDs, and a 34 tooth chainring. It's a one by system got this Shimano modular chain device. We've got the 1146 XT cassette. At the moment, we can't get this XTR cassette with such a big spread, so that's why it's got the XT version and the XTR DI2 rear mech. So the bike is finished off with this Fox transfer dropper seat post. That's 150 mil travel drop. And the lever is mounted underneath the bar on the left-hand side where the front mech shifter would normally be. We've got this unusual looking Tioga Spider Stratum saddle. So Francois, I've got a brand new bike for this year um, and you've actually moved back to the smaller wheels. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels really different first. In some places that make a lot of difference, that's for sure. Yeah. And I need to like to test like in races like and the Pacifico to to make my my good final opinion I would say. Yeah. But uh, it's really interesting, like it's really play playful and it's you can enjoy it more. Uh, also you've got these Ibis wheels with the super wide rims. You seem to be running really low tyre pressures. Is that because of these rims it lets you run lower tyre pressures? Yeah exactly. Uh, the wider rim allow you to reduce the pressure. Yeah. Uh, but I, I was concerned about that because uh, in the previous season sometimes I can hit the rim and especially with the carbon rim you can be really like <laughs> you're you know, riding on the, on the edge, you don't want to push too hard. Yeah. Uh, but that's, uh, again, it's a good test and I will, I will see how it goes. I've been some, doing some good riding in a really rough condition. It's, yeah. It seems to, to, be, to be really good, so. It's down to about sort of 1.3 bar, you said? It's like yeah. low 20s? Yeah, around 20 PSI. So what's your favorite thing about your bike? So there is a, I really like the slicey mudguard yeah, with the tuning and the Specifico special right. edition. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty unusual looking saddle. Is that comfortable? Yeah, it's not too bad actually. Uh, it's the, the first days I'm um, testing it. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. Oh, cool. Looks pretty unusual, but nice bike. Thanks very much, Francois. Yeah. No worries. Click on this GMBN logo here, that'll subscribe you to the channel, it's totally free. If you click down there, that'll take you through to a video cross country versus enduro, and click over there for Bryn Atkinson's Pro Bike. Put a thumbs up if you like my bike. <laughs>